It's sometimes difficult to understand what the attraction of Christianity is when so many of its basic theological teachings are both counterintuitive and contradict the plain and simple meaning of the biblical text. One of the compelling factors, however, is what is sometimes called the bandwagon approach. People see a religion that has over two billion adherents and assume that that many people really can't be wrong. It's important to point out, though, that that number is not so simple because today there are over 30,000 Christian denominations, many of whom insist that all the other Christians are not true Christians. Also, it's important to remember that our Bible teaches in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 7, that God did not choose the Jewish people because we are the largest group and the largest nation in the world. God says he chose us as his special people despite the fact that we are the smallest people in the world. And so therefore, if there's a religion that is the largest religion in the world by far, that may not be a very good sign. When you see two billion people walking in one direction, it's important not to be overly focused on the fact that there are two billion people in that line. What's more important to determine is whether the first person was heading in the right direction. Because if the first person was not going in the right direction and two billion people followed, that's not a group of people worth following. Years ago, I spoke with a Christian minister who said that the Jewish people have a tremendous amount of gumption for thinking that they're right and the entire Christian world is wrong about questions such as whether Jesus was the Messiah and other such questions. And I said to him, well, let me ask you a question. Let's do a thought experiment. Let's go back in time 2,000 years to the day before Christianity began. And look at the world back then. You had Jews, but everyone else was a pagan. And as we know, pagans worshipped idols and rocks and trees and animals and the stars. And I asked this Christian minister, well, who was right back then? Were the Jews right? Or was the rest of the world right? And this Christian minister insists, no, the Jews were right and the rest of the world was entirely wrong. So I said, do you hear what you're saying? You yourself are saying that it's quite possible for the Jews to be right and the rest of the world to be wrong. Why do you think anything really has changed since back then? Finally, we have a famous story where a priest came to Rabbi Yonason Ivashitz and said, Rabbi, you Jewish people are not really following your own religion very well. Because Rabbi, as you know, the Jewish Bible says that you should follow the majority. And Rabbi, we're the majority. You Jews are a very small, small group in the world today. And therefore, if you were to follow your own teachings, your own Bible, you would all convert to our faith. And the Rabbi said, let me explain something to you. When the Bible gives us that advice that we're to follow the majority, that's not in all cases. It's only in a case where you have a doubt. If you don't know what to do, then you look to the majority. But he said that in our situation here, we have absolutely no doubts whatsoever about the basic differences between Judaism and Christianity. And therefore, we are not about to begin following the majority in this situation.